and now I'm with Connor. You guys Hello. remember Connor? Baby, I miss you. I feel so you're not 29. Oh. How old are you? Guys, it's still kind of like so surreal to like wake up and like have a little bump. I don't know. We got a call from my doctor <laughs> because uh, just, there's some abnormities with the bladder. With the blackout night clouds rolling along. Welcome back to my channel. So, me and Tim are on a little getaway. Um, it is his birthday tomorrow. Tim, how old are you turning tomorrow? Hmm? 29. <laughs> You're not 29. <laughs> no, old. How old are you? 31. The, the big 3-1. 31. Down um, here from here, babe. Yeah, you didn't really have like a big 30th either, did you? Because of COVID. Yeah, it was sort of put a bit of a uh, a damper on things, all COVID. So no yeah. 30th for me. So no, no big it. party. And we're not really doing one this year because Tim went to a Bucks last weekend and completely wrote himself off. <laughs> so I was like, we're just doing us. All right. Happy um, to do it. Happy to do it. But we're in here staying at a Double Bay Intercontinental. Is that how you say it? Intercontinental. That's it. Um, and yeah, so we're here for her, Tim's birthday. We're we'll also going to a couple events. Um, yeah, just exploring. Tim's never really like stayed at Sydney and explored it. We've only been here for my podcast event. Uh, so I thought I'd take you with us. And before I get into the vlog though, I do want to thank Squarespace for sponsoring this video. You guys know Squarespace is a frequent sponsor on my channel and they are amazing. They are a platform where you can have a domain and website. My very first business website was with them. I'll put a little video here. As you can see, that makes it super pretty. You choose a layout, you can shoot it up yourself. I am in no way tech savvy and find Squarespace so easy to use, so easy to upload blogs and everything like that. So cannot recommend it enough. Um, and because they are sponsoring this video, I do have a 10% off code for you uh, to trial it out. So I'll put that in the, the description and you can check it out. Definitely recommend if you're a small business or if you're an influencer and you want a place where there's no algorithm ruling it or anything like that, getting your own website, having a place where you can sell, you know, digital stuff and whatnot is amazing. So a big thank you to Squarespace for making this video possible. And yeah, so what should we do now, Tim? What, what do you want to do? I'm Please tired. Some food. Yeah, so it's lunchtime. Let's get some food. I'm starving. And then I want to... Maybe a coffee because I'm a little bit tired from No, no sleep. coffee because I won't sleep. Um, okay. And I want to go shopping. <laughs> yes. <laughs> My little tongue came do, out then. <laughs> do you have a certain thing booked in at 2 o'clock, do you? No. Interesting. No. I haven't booked any appointments in. So uh, we just booked our own appointment and then just told me <laughs> just before. I'm like, so we're seeing a jeweler. He's like, what? I'm like, don't worry. Just come along to the appointment. I don't think I'll take them along to that appointment, though. It's a bit crazy. I hope um, not. We'll be there forever. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go shopping. Also, guys, I want to show you my cute little outfit today. So I'm living in these bloody soft, soft, stretchy, stretchy midi dresses. They are very great for the bump. Um, it's actually not too cold in Sydney, so I've just got a little cord jacket on, and yeah. And then we are going to go to Italian tonight for Tim's birthday. We've been recommended. Sing 
to focus when you're getting close to me. We're like Guys, a we're just off for King's Beauty dinner. Got little booties on, a knee it. Let me show you a bit closer. Oh, that's nice. Um, I've been feeling a bit sick this afternoon, but what's new? Gagging, haven't I been, Tim? All day. <laughs> All day. Oh. Happy birthday to the best husband, baby daddy ever. It's a beautiful song you're playing. <laughs> <laughs> He's liked it. You can't really see it. What's about you? <laughs> and are these your presents? These are my presents. I'm not allowed to open them. And yet. they say Merry Christmas because we didn't have any birthday wrapping. We didn't have. But that's okay. It's the thought that counts. So we're just about to go have some breakfast. And I just wanted to show you my cute little stack set. Look how like smooth this material is. It is so smooth, so soft. So impressed with the quality. I've been wearing stacks for maybe like a month, testing them out before showing you guys. And yeah, I'm super impressed, absolutely love it. I'm wearing size small and it's perfect for little bump, but their sizing is a little bit big. So I would recommend it going down a size. So whatever size you usually are, I would recommend going down a size. But yeah, I'm gonna put a jacket on, obviously, and we're gonna go get some breakfast. <laughs> All right, guys, we had breakfast. We completely forgot to vlog, because I'm just rookie, not used to it. So funny, my nail came off and I just painted it. Does it? doesn't look like the rest but that's fine it's better than like the gross little thing it was before tim show us your outfit of the day what have we got here run got, us through got the watch got the new country road jumper oh did you get that for your birthday I got from my beautiful wife oh nice soon to be mama <laughs> uh, got the a brand jeans on fix your top. shirt up yep what shoes Nice, looking yeah. stylish. So we are going to brunch with Stax Activewear and I think we're visiting their new HQ, seeing what's happening there, which will be fun. And then we're gonna do a little bit of shopping afterwards. We actually didn't go shopping yesterday. <laughs> So you guys would have seen we were just at the Stacks uh, little brunch. It was good. We had some food. Just had a two bunch of influencers that I feel like I know. Like you know you yeah, people that I feel like I know but I've never met. And now I'm with Connor. You guys Hello. remember Connor from my. When did we do that um, vlog? When I did the podcast, that was February. Yes. Oh my gosh. Ages ago. Fem? It feels like not ages ago, no, but I know. yeah. So with Connor and also Emma and Tim. Wave Emma. You remember Emma from Byron? Oh, that's where they would have seen you too, Byron. Yeah. yeah. Um, but now we are heading to White Fox Boutique. You guys know I did a haul with them like literally two weeks ago. And yeah, we're just seeing the new HQ. Are we trying on some clothes? I mean, probably. Yeah. Apparently it's really cool. So. Oh, yeah. So take you guys along. come home and order some room service because we'll just start getting ready for the stacks event and starved hey tim oh, buddy starved classic chippies toasted sandwich tim's got the same <laughs> I'm 
I'll give you guys some sneak peeks, but I'm so excited. Are you ready? Are you excited? Connor? If you're waiting guys, I'll keep it short and sweet. I'm so freaking happy and Grateful that you all came out. I know Till and I had an emotional moment, so I'm to see something could come out. Good morning guys. Sorry I didn't chat too much last night. It was a bit of a whirlwind. Um, poor bloody Tim was sick so he didn't come to the oh, event with me. I wish I could have gone so bad. How are you feeling? Oh, bit rough? Cool. Bit rough but had a good sleep. No the event was so cool. Honestly I'm just in awe. Like me and Tim were chatting about this morning. I'm just, I don't know. It's so... The amount of effort and just work and like inspiration and everything that goes into stacks is like next level. Matilda and Dom are like next level. Um, and it was just really cool to see, you know, something that they had thought in their head, envisioned. I think especially because like we do stuff with Naked Harvest and you envision this campaign and then it plays out and it does really well and it's like this really amazing feeling. And so for them to be able to complete this and just the extent to what they went through, like went to, sorry, is just amazing. Like I'm still bloody in awe. Um, and yeah, it was awesome. Uh, we saw their new seamless collection, which is beautiful and just like, the campaign where they used like women with all different types of bodies, um, just like so diverse and so different and just so unique. And then um, after there was like this runway show and the Veronica's turned up. It was so cool. It was bloody epic. I died. Um, and yeah, so it was bloody awesome. Glad I got to show sneak peek. Uh, but it is our last day here. We're going to head to Bondi. Tim's never been to Bondi. So we're just going to go have some breakfast. We've been told about this place called Bill's to go to. So this is the new collection for Stax. Um, oh my goodness. So comfortable. I just like, I love how it fits me. I'm wearing a size small and I would recommend going down a size. So you guys know, usually in activewear, I wear extra small down bottom, small up top. I'm wearing small and small. Small fits perfectly. Um, but yeah, bottoms, I have gone up. Off sleeve because she's got a little bump. Bit bloody cute. Guys, I still kind of like so surreal to like wake up and like have a little bump I don't know that's probably sounds lame but yeah and it's just I don't know it's so beautiful so I'm excited to like work out on it try it out such a beautiful collection and I think they've also sent more of the collection to my house which is really exciting so I'll show you that when I get home
hey guys <laughs> um so uh, we got a call from my doctor and so we got our 13 week scan announced on instagram everything like that and like the sonographer said baby was fine like had a heartbeat had a stomach like brain no markers for like down syndrome or anything like that we also had the nipt test so we know baby is fine also like with blood work and like you can see like moving around and stuff and then i got a call from my um obstetrician who just said that he's got the report back from the scanners because I like my obstetrician doesn't do the scan I had to go away for that and he's like I just want to have an appointment with you and Tim <laughs> because uh, just there's some abnormities with the bladder which could mean something is wrong with the kidney um but I just want you to come in for another scan to check and then like we'll go through everything and I'll let you know and like I know nothing has happened yet but oh my god I was so silly and I started googling like stuff about what could happen if something is wrong with the bladder and there's like oh, just like all this stuff that can go wrong and even like the last thing that was like this woman saying a doctor said there's something wrong with the bladder and then they found out that the baby didn't have kidneys and the baby was completely fine, but they had to terminate. Oh, and I'm just like fucking freaking myself out. And Tim's like, babe, there's nothing wrong. Like, we'll go in there. We'll get a second scan. It will be perfect. Like, stop freaking out. But I just like, I just got, oh, I'm so fucking crying. <laughs> and I wanted to film this because I was talking to Mel and she's like there's so many like problems with pregnancy like there's so many issues with pregnancy and you deal with them and the doctors deal with them and you can still have a healthy baby and I'm like there's not anyone I see on Instagram <laughs> has this perfect pregnancy, gets pregnant very fast, and then has this perfect baby. Like, no one talks about anything. And I'm just so fucking sick of it because I feel like, why? Why does this keep happening to us? Like, oh my God. Yeah. But I need to be positive. And I need to, like... I need to be able to be okay because I'm sure this is, you know, going to happen throughout the pregnancy, like stuff happens. But I did want to come over here because I feel like no one talks about it. I'm so fucking sick of it. So we've got the scan and hopefully it's all good. And I'll update you with happy news. Hello guys, uh, like a bloody whirlwind, it's been, hey bear, that's Tim singing down there, he's doing some gardening or something. Um, so we had our follow up scan today and everything is fine, so they found uh, baby's bladder and it is all good, uh, they just think maybe it was a little bit too early baby was in the wrong position it can happen um but yeah like after my kind of freak out that I had <laughs> that you saw um I really kind of like sat with it meditated and I don't know like even though it was so scary and stuff like I just was like in my heart I was just like 
everything's gonna be okay. Like intuitively, like it just, I still was like, it's gonna be fine. Like trust it's going to be fine. Um, and it was, and I think it's like, I'm just out of sorts with this pregnancy. Like usually, cause even Tim said, Tim's like, babe, you're in such a weird mental place. Like usually stuff like this wouldn't rock you and you would always think best case scenario. And that's actually something I'm trying to change. Um, but you know, just because of the miscarriage and stuff, I just, I go to the worst case scenario cause that I have been the worst case scenario. So yeah, it just obviously feels so good to get that scan, see baby again, um, in there kicking, having a great old time and everything is perfect. So he's like perfect, healthy baby. And I can just be relieved and keep living this little bliss bubble. I am on a bloody high. Baby is okay. I can stop fucking being a nutcase and stressing. Good morning, guys. So I didn't want to end the vlog on those last videos because they were very emotional, which I totally want to show you guys the, you know, the highs and the lows and everything and just be real. Um... But I am 14 weeks today, so I will end this vlog today. I'm just going to make some breakfast and then I want to do a little try on haul of the stack stuff that I got that I was talking about in this vlog. Um, what I'm kind of finding is, you know how I used to eat breakfast at like 9am um, or just like a bit later, like I used to have my coffee and then have my breakfast if I don't eat straight away, like I think it's like seven now, if I don't eat straight away, I that's when I have like morning sickness and I get quite ill. You're going to need banana, oats. These are just vanilla oats. I'm using uh, my Naked Harvest protein. I've got some macadamia dream milk. This is actually a uh, new non-milk. I think you actually have seen it on my channel before, um, but from Pure Harvest, you know I love Pure Harvest. They're Aussie made. All their stuff is like organic, no, like no nasties. And it's obviously a dairy alternative, like no GMO and the ingredients are really amazing. But these new non-milks, they actually are now in Woolies. And so the non-milks are basically oat and nut milk so you've seen me carry on about oat milk love oat milk um and this has a mixture of the macadamia in it too and it is so creamy like holy shit it makes the oats so creamy so yeah make sure you go check out your local woolies because you can now get non-milks better being blend salted caramel banana yum i usually have way more raspberries all right guys so i've had my breakfast i can function i'm not gonna vomit but before i end this vlog i do want to show you some pieces from stacks and this is from their new seamless launch when this goes live it would have already been launched um but maybe only a couple of days. So if you are keen on any of these pieces, I highly suggest you go straight to the website and purchase because I feel like um, previous stuff I've seen, it like sells out. So Stax is definitely a brand that I plan to work with in the future. And they so kindly sent me the whole range, all the different colors of the new se uh, seamless range. So I will try them on for you, but I'm excited to work with them because like I said, they're an Aussie brand. They're doing really cool stuff. Gear is really, really like luxe and comfortable and it feels really good. Um, and also I got a bit of like personal time with Don and Matilda, who are the owners of Stax and they are so lovely. So down to earth, uh, very much reminded me about like, like, you know, they're a small Aussie business, just like super passionate and inspired and wanting to bring their customers the best product. And it really reminded of like me and Cooper with Naked Harvest. So I'm really excited to support like, you know, I wouldn't call them small, but like an Aussie business. So let me show you the colors and then I'm actually going to turn it around just because it's going to be easier to show you guys. 
So as you guys can see, it's very tonal. There's lots of muted colors, browns. Oh, so happy about this pink and blue and really beautiful beige and a, a black color too. All right, so this is the color that I've probably been wearing the most. It is like a beautiful green color and I absolutely love just, it's seamless. So, so amazing for the bump. Um, I'm wearing a size small. I would usually be an extra small like I am in usual active wear, um, but I have gone up a size for obvious reasons. And as you can see, so much room in there, room to grow, and I've gone a size small up top, which feels really good. the color difference i personally am more of a fan of the <laughs> um of the darker brown which is called dark brown <laughs> knew it knew it um i feel like it's more of like a teddy bear brown i don't know if that makes sense for some reason it makes sense to me um but i absolutely love these like tonal colors very like Absolutely obsessed with this pink color. It is so beautiful. You know I'm a pink gal. Oh my god, guys, when we find out the gender, if it's a girl, we so cute wear this. Can you slide for it one? Can you slide for it? Baby say I'm making nervous. Maybe cause I'm real on the surface. Maybe cause I'm tearing down what the surface. Don't get lost in those facades on the guys. You know ain't nobody perfect. I just put the work in. I know what my worth is. I'm living lavish. I'm flossing, bossing, and bagging up cash off the passion. Out here with my niggas, baby, to the casket. We reckless, stay in your lane. I'm on gas till somebody cut the brakes. I'm not going to bother showing you the gray and black. We all know what gray and black looks like. Plus, I'm running out of time before work. But favorite colors love this beige color obviously obsessed with the pink my favorite brown is definitely the dark brown obsessed with the light blue and the green so guys i will leave leave all links in the description if you want to get your hands on some of that new seamless range from Stax. And I do have a code for you guys. It is Georgie10, so you can save some moolah. But thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. And week 13 of me being Prigos. Many more vlogs to come. I feel like since this change in my journey, and I can be so open with you guys now, it's like kind of re-inspired me to want to like vlog more. And energy wise, I feel like I could possibly go back to like light Pilates next week too, which I'm excited for. But thank you so much. I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.